So I'd like to thank everybody for coming out here today. I'm Diane Sayre. I'm a LaRouche Independent Candidate for U.S. Senate, and the hospital behind me is about to close. This is an 800-bed facility, uh, Beth Israel Hospital, which was taken over by Mount Sinai in 2013. And from the minute they took it over, they began acid stripping. They're now claiming that the hospital is going to lose $160 million, uh, which means that this supposedly is going to bankrupt Mount Sinai, which breaks in $24 billion a year. It's obviously completely absurd. Now, I want to say something about a couple of the executives on the Board of Trustees. Richard A. Friedman, he is the co-chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Mount Sinai Hospital Center. He's also the chairman of the Asset Management at Goldman Sachs. And uh, he is the co-chairman of the Corporate Real Estate Infrastructure and Cooperation Fund Investment Committees. So guess what? From the minute Mount Sinai took over this hospital, they intended to shut it down. The other co-chairman, James Tisch, comes from a family that's worth over $10 billion. He was formerly on the board of the New York Federal Reserve. Do I have to tell you that these people do not care about health care? They don't care about the people on the Lower East Side. They care about making a profit. They stripped the hospital to shut it down and scoop up the real estate. There is no other full service hospital in this neighborhood. I am a supporter of the Hill Burton Act, which was passed right after World War II, which mandated 4.5 hospital beds per 1,000 population. Now we can speak about universal health care, but if you do not have a system that can deliver the care, it doesn't matter who pays for it. I would like to further say something about something near and dear to my heart, which is mental health and drug rehabilitation. This facility behind me had a total of 215 beds dedicated to chemical dependency drug rehab, those kind of emergencies. That has all been cleaned out and shut down and supposedly relocated to Mount Sinai on Irvington Street, but that only has 115 beds. So they basically cut the number of beds by 50%. And the question of mental health in the state of New York, this state used to have 93,000 inpatient psychiatric beds. This state now has 8,700 inpatient psychiatric beds. There is no place to put people suffering from mental illness. They are ending up in the prisons, in the homeless shelters, and on the streets. So I think it should be illegal to make health care for a profit because you know how you make money in health care? You kill the patient. That is the cheapest way to have health care. And Mount Sinai has said, one of their other board members, Kenneth Davis, said that the way we're going to save money is we're not going to have people in the hospital. This is a criminal enterprise. I oppose it. I want to go on the record. We cannot kill People to bail out a bunch of Wall Street crooks. Goldman Sachs should repay the money they got from the bailouts. Thank you. Now let me do another thing, because I want to acknowledge George Capsis beside me, who is the founder of the Westview News newspaper, which has led the fight to save hospitals in this city famously led the fight to stop the closing of St. Vincent's Hospital, which was a world-renowned hospital for AIDS research and AIDS care. And I really want to thank you for being here. Do you want to say anything? Yes. The 
Beth Israel was over 250 years old. It was a complex of several buildings. And nothing we could do could prevent its closing. No matter what we cut But the city is a vibrant, real entity. And you cannot build a city, you cannot expand the city unless you have hospitals and excellent hospitals like that. So we, the citizens of this city, must get together and speak with one voice. We want to. Thank you very much.